Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the door lock actuator on this 2000 Ford Mustang. We do the passenger side. Driver side is a very similar procedure. Uh, this is the same for most 94 to 04 um, uh, Mustangs with the power door locks. And basically, if one, of one side or the other of your power door locks is not working, it's usually that this actuator has gone bad. Tools you'll need are 8mm wrench, flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, both regular and small size, and a T27 Torx bit with a ratchet driver. And it's recommended that you use an 8mm wrench to disconnect the negative uh, battery cable on your vehicle. First there's actually a pin on the front side, right there, I uh, use a flat blade screwdriver. Carefully pry the clip and then once you get to a certain point you can pull it out with your fingers. Okay, now right in the top of this panel is a little notch. You can insert a screwdriver and lightly pry out. And once you have this out, then insert your screwdriver down here and pry up and bring this right out. Okay, and then use a Phillips screwdriver to disconnect the switch from this panel. On this vehicle, there's two Phillips screws right here. If I remember from so in my past experience, there's either kind of a pin like there was down here, here, or a bolt. Um, but I'm going to remove these two Phillips screws. Okay, and then just keep in mind there may be another fastener here as well. Okay, around your um, door handle, just insert a screwdriver. You want to pry the bottom first, not the top, and then pull the bottom out, and then off. And up here, just with your, either use your fingers or use a screwdriver, pry that panel right off. Okay, and now your four panel lifts up. Pull your water shield back and then reach in. I'll do my best to film this here. Okay, and you can see the rod that goes up to your door handle. There's a little yellow clip there. And you reach in with your finger and pull that clip off. Okay. And then pull the rod out. And now you'll want a T27 torx driver on a ratchet. Remove these three, three screws here that hold your lock mechanism. Okay, I'm just going to speed up as I take those three T27 uh, bolts out. Now you can kind of reach in, pull the lock mechanism down. And now you can see right here is your um, lock rod. You want to pull this clip back and off. Okay, that allows that to come 
Okay. And now your lock rod can pull out. Okay, and now you can kind of pull the whole mechanism right out through here. Okay, now here is your uh, this is your door lock actuator. Right here you want to pry on this little tab here and then push your actuator off. Okay, so, and then your actuator unplugs right here. I'm just going to use a screwdriver, pry up the connector, disconnect it. Okay, here's your do actuator from Money Auto. Um, the mechanism's all the same, slightly different shape. It actually mounts a little easier. Okay. There's a couple of slots that you have to make sure line up on uh, the mechanism. Then make sure your arm goes in. Okay, and push it on. And lock it into place. Okay, reconnect it. And then put your mechanism back into the door kind of spins around and we'll retrieve our lock rod. Okay, make sure that comes up through here correctly. Okay, push it into place. Got my lock rod back in place, push this around, and lock it on. Okay, so that's locked back into place. Now lock the lock mechanism into place. Those holes to line up. And speed it up here again as I just put all three of those bolts in place first and then tighten them up nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten them. Okay, and then that just came out of that little clip, so put that back. Okay, now reach in here, put your rod back in place, and flip the clip around and lock it. Okay, now put your water shield back in place and you're set to replace the door panel. Okay, to put the door panel back on, what you want to do is um, line up your lower tabs with the slots in the door. Okay, and then kind of lift it up, put your door lock in place. I need to lift the back of the panel up just a little bit. Okay, and as you push it down in, you may see it do this. Just want to use a screwdriver and make sure that that goes down into the channel. Make sure it's down, make sure the panel is right against the door, all the way around. Okay, we can put this corner, snap that back on. The tab that goes into the front here to hold it. Okay, our two screws into the panel here. Like 
Okay, if you had something holding it there, reinstall that. Take our switch, put it in, and turn it over. Start one screw. down in back here first and push it down lock it in place and then your bezel to the door handle We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.